dust, motes of dust and particle effects, an observation and a guide to practical use. Dust holds on to light and gives you an illusion of layers. This is an easy way to bring light in an area where there wouldn't be any light. This is one of the tools I have in my toolbox. I can use this for many effects. I can use this to give a sense of depth. I can use this to give a sense of motion. Sometimes smoke will pull your eye in a certain area. It can be very subtle or you can make a great statement with it. The white paint I'm using here is casein based paint. I like to use this because it doesn't form a skin right away, which allows for a lot of reworking, a lot of dry brushing, and even rewetting. I often make corrections or add new details to a painting by planning off of the painting itself. The same way we do thumbnails, the same way we do any kind of preliminary art. You can stop any time and think separately on another sheet of paper. And then transfer that idea to the painting without having to do a lot of reworking. Reworking will drive you crazy. It takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and it will drain your inspiration. Whenever I perform the glazes, I like to use a large flat brush, usually white sable because it's kind of soft. I add a generous amount of acrylic medium. Here I'm using Open Medium by Golden Acrylics. 
I add just the right amount of pigment, just the right amount of color, and I do all my blending right there on the palette. Then I glaze right on top of the painting. Any lighter colors will show more of the color you're adding. And of course, however much color you put into the glaze will show in the finished glaze. It'll also darken it, so you have to be careful. Anytime I'm adding contrast to a painting, whether it be a highlight or a dark area, it adds a lot of interest and adds a lot of drama. And therefore, it's one of the most fun times to be painting. Every brush stroke seems to be magic. It seems to glint in the eye somewhat. It's, uh, it is my favorite part of a painting. Contrast is like the frosting on a cupcake so to speak. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and comment below.